Palestine recalls U.S. envoy after Trump's Jerusalem move. The Palestinian leadership has said it is recalling its envoy to the United States following Washington's controversial recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Palestinian officials have previously said they will no longer accept any peace plan put forward by the U.S. following President Donald Trump's unilateral declaration on December 6. Trump's move sparked deadly protests in the occupied Palestinian territories and major rallies in support of the Palestinians across the Muslim world. A resounding majority of United Nations member states also defied unprecedented threats by the U.S. to declare the use recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital null and void. On Sunday, the official Palestinian news agency Wafa said that Hussam Zamlot, the Palestinian Liberation Organization envoy to Washington, D.C., would return for consultations. Riyad al-Malki, the Palestinian foreign minister, said that discussions would take place to set the decisions needed by the Palestinian leadership in the coming period regarding our relations with the U.S. He added that the envoy is expected to return to his normal work after the discussions. Eternal capital of Palestinians Jerusalem home to holy religious sites, has particular significance for Muslims, Christians and Jews. West Jerusalem was seized by Israel during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, when more than 750,000 Palestinians were expelled from historic Palestine, referred to by Palestinians as the Nakba catastrophe when Israel was officially founded. Israel subsequently occupied and annexed the eastern part of the city after its military victory in the 1967 war but its control over East Jerusalem has never been recognized by the international community. Palestinians want occupied East Jerusalem as the capital of a future state, while Israel says the city cannot be divided. Also on Sunday, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas called Jerusalem the eternal capital.